Corporate Communications Officer at Sandals Resort, Grenada, Dillian Forrester, on Wednesday told a GBN reporter via telephone that the resort will not be making any public statements. However, their media silence does not seem to apply to international establishments. An article published on WashingtonPost.com quoted a spokesperson for the resort as saying in an email that the resort remains open for current guests to enjoy and that quarantine measures are being strictly enforced so that there is a zero risk to the rest of the resort's operations. The spokesperson, according to the article, also said that out of an abundance of caution, the resort is not accepting new guests at this time and they are working with them to accommodate their travel plans to another one of Sandals resorts in the Caribbean region. Sandals and government have come under heavy fire for the cluster, which so far yielded 39 positive cases of the deadly virus from the more than 500 tests carried out. Member of the COVID committee, Dr. George Mitchell, appeared on GBN to the point on Monday and said measures to lower the risk of the spread of the virus were put in place ahead of the resort's reopening in October. However, he believes after weeks of operation, complacency took over, which contributed to the outbreak. What we have done and what we stuck with is the protocol that says you must, for Sanders' guests, you must have a, a test result that is seven days or less. So basically sticking to the original protocol. And that whoever uh, qualifies with that uh, can come to the resort and uh, so, uh, circle, circulate within the resort with all the protocols that have been established. Up to late last week, Grenada recorded 43 cases of COVID-19. But since the outbreak, that number has jumped to 85, 44 of which are currently active as of midday Wednesday, with over 200 tests still to come in. For GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.